what's up welcome back to my channel today is going to be kind of a shorter vlog because i'm just starting vlogging at 3 30 now um, i'm actually at walmart waiting for my grocery pickup this is the first time that i've tried it and it's actually pretty convenient i just laid in bed last night picked everything i wanted i felt like it saved me some money because i wasn't like tempted to get other things off of my list and yeah now i'm just waiting for them to bring it out to me and um, I am going to go back to the apartment, film a little grocery haul for you guys. And today's actually the first day back at my apartment, like moving in officially. I visited a few times since I've like been home, but, um, today is the first day I'm moving back in. So I'm really excited about it and I want to film like some organizing and unpacking videos for you guys. Cause I was like watching those kind of content and like me cleaning and such. So I am going to get my groceries as soon as they bring them out and then I'm going to go back to the apartment, film a little grocery haul for you guys and then start unpacking all of my things. I literally have like two garbage bags of clothes back there and then I have like two backpacks and another bag. I have a lot of stuff that I feel like I'm like, I feel like I came back with, I'm coming back with so much more than I did whenever I left which I mean figured but whoa didn't realize it until I was packaging everything or packing everything back up so yeah I am just waiting for my groceries now my boyfriend actually works for grocery pickup for Walmart um and he's transferring up here so um that'll be fun I actually think this is my groceries now so I'm gonna go and people are staring at me vlogging so love that for me see you guys when I get back to the apartment Okay, first of all, I am so out of breath. Like, whoa. I had to take like five separate trips up and down three flights of steps with all of my heavy stuff. Excuse me if I'm still out of breath or if I'm still gonna try to be catching my breath in this. I'm just so exhausted and it's so hot out there. Okay. So, first thing I got is just some chips just some good old restaurant style white corn tortilla chips i like that with some salsa usually i get the kind that's like in the bowl i don't even remember the brand but it's like a little more like fresher than the can but i was trying to ball on a budget here because i knew i had to get a lot of stuff so i was like you know what we'll get this um two cans of the chunk chicken breast this is mixed opinion but some people think this is gross other people like don't it doesn't bother them it doesn't bother me i don't like tuna so this is like the next best best thing for me i like putting some mayonnaise in it some different seasonings and such i can put it on a sandwich i can put it on a salad i can eat it with some crackers pretty versatile pretty cheap and i got two cans of it you can also put i also like putting it um like grapes and almonds in it or for more like a savory type of chicken salad I put like pickles almonds oh and for the sweet kind you can also put like apples in there so it's pretty versatile I like keeping those and actually maybe I still have some no I use it okay anyways um then I got just one vitamin water I know these are like actually pretty high in sugar but I'm gonna try and like cut back on sodas because I used to be doing really good and just like drinking water and I drink sweet tea but I've been drinking a lot of sodas since I was like since I went home basically so this kind of helps me and I'm wanting something a little different than water but yeah so I just got the dragon fruit kind that's my favorite flavor next I got a half loaf this is like such a good I don't want to say invention <laughs> but like such a good thing that they came up with to do half loaves of bread because, you know, I'm just feeding myself here. Everybody buys their own groceries, so a half loaf for me really does the trick. I don't waste any, and typically for breakfast, every morning I'll have like um, toast with banana and peanut butter. So this is my favorite bread that I have been getting, 
the um, Nutty Oat, it's by Bake Bluish Shop, I don't know. Nutty Oak Half Loaf Bread, and I really like this one. Um, and then I just got an onion. Um, I use onion for a lot of things. I love onions, so like salads or like resting vegetables. Um, basically anything, I just love onion. So I got a yellow onion, one of those. I also got another thing of like toothpaste. I got some glue dots, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit what I'm gonna do. I told you guys about that record wall in my room that I'm gonna make, and so glue dots I'm gonna use to hang up all the records. I really need to go through the fridge and like throw out the condiments and stuff that I had months ago when I lived here, so I need to go through and do all that, but I knew I was gonna probably need some new ones, so I got a thing of mayonnaise, so I can use this for um, the chicken salad, and I'm also gonna make a grape pecan salad, so good. Wait, what am I even talking about? I don't use mayonnaise for that. I literally use sour cream and cream cheese. Okay, scratch that. I got a thing of classic ranch for salads or dipping vegetables or whatever. Um, peanut butter. I'm a big peanut butter girl, so I got another thing of peanut butter, actually. I may still have some in here. Oh my gosh! I totally should not have gotten peanut butter. I have a whole new thing in here. Dang. Okay. It's okay. At least I got the smaller one. But, um, it's fine. I'll go through it fast. I eat peanut butter, like I said, every morning for breakfast with banana and toast. So, then next, I got this zesty Italian dressing and marinade. And I got this because I'm really craving, like, a Greek pasta salad. And I saw a commercial, like, an advertisement the other day for this pasta and it had like pasta obviously and then it had like um and like kind of like an olive oil dressing just like a vinaigrette kind of um and then it had like feta cheese and tomato and cucumber and I was like oh my gosh that sounds so good I don't like olives so I would add olives in there if I liked them but I don't so I'm gonna try that out and use this dressing to do it I got a bag of leafy romaine lettuce this is my favorite um lettuce bag to get i like this one and then the chopped romaine but um i will say these bags go bad pretty fast so i'll need to eat these towards the beginning of the week um and yeah it runs out in literally one week so love that for me but i like romaine compared to iceberg just a preference i also got a head of <laughs> I feel like it's like a bouquet or something. Um, I got a bouquet. <laughs> I got um, a thing of broccoli. I was going to get a frozen bag, but there's something about the way frozen broccoli tastes that I'm just like, eh, I don't know. And I feel like they put a lot of like the ends in it compared to like the head. I don't know. That should, could just be me. I'm dropping broccoli everywhere. It's fine. But really? The carpet cleaning men are here for something and they're about to back into that car now watch out um anyways i'm gonna do this and roast like some onion broccoli um two cucumbers um this for salad for snacking um i like most vegetables so if i can choose to snack on those compared to like other bad things then i'll choose these so I don't know why I was just like waving them around like <laughs> I got a bag of baby carrots same thing for the cucumbers I could snack on them or have them with my salad and such I got a thing of chicken this actually expires <sighs> okay well it says sell by August 3rd I always get confused with that and like if I'm still able to freeze it or not I hope so at this point. I'll probably call my mom to make sure, but I'm gonna freeze this. Um, and I'll plan on making it right now, but I just feel like chicken is one of the things I should have in my freezer for like supper at nighttime. Do you guys say dinner or supper? I know in the South it's like kind of a, I don't wanna say controversial thing because it's really dramatic, but like, do you say breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Or do you say like breakfast, lunch, and supper? Or do you say breakfast, dinner, supper? 
I've asked a couple people that I like work with and stuff because obviously I'm in the south I'm Tennessee baby um, and like I always mix it up like I say breakfast obviously and then sometimes I'll say lunch sometimes I'll say dinner sometimes I'll say dinner sometimes I'll say supper I mix it up but just curious thing of great try one out mm -hmm. another thing of red seedless grapes I could do this for my chicken salad to snack on um, or I'm also gonna make a pecan and grape salad which is like bomb it sounds so gross when you're describing it but it's so good it has like sour cream cream cheese pecans brown sugar grapes oh my gosh it's so good and I was craving it I used to eat it all the time I was craving it a couple weeks ago and I was like oh I'm definitely getting that to make when I move back to the apartment oh, shoot. Hello. Hello. rats it went under the freaking oh gosh I'm scared to stick my hand down here who knows what's down here hello can you come okay bag of shredded cheese. I like getting the Colby Monterey Jack cheese. I got a thing of feta cheese. Then I got a thing of sour cream. Um, I got cream cheese also for the great salad. I got a thing of coffee creamer. This is hazelnut. You know, I don't have a preference really. I normally switch it up. Like every time I go and get a creamer, I switch it up. I was on an almond milk one for a kick. So a soy milk one for a kick. Now I'm here with some great value because if I get great value and it tastes the same to me, why would I not? You feel me? So here I am getting great value on hazelnut on coffee creamer. Stock cold brew coffee. Let me put you on one. This is the best iced coffee you can get at home. Try it because it's bomb. Put some creamer in there and I get the unsweet black one. Woo, it's so good. Now, these are like a dollar. 30 cents, dollar 40 cents, something like that at Walmart. So it's a little steep for a candy bar. But um, this is the chocolate, this is the chocolate almond butter cups from the brand Hail Mary. This is what they look like. And when I tell y'all, they are bomb. Seven grams of protein in there. You keep them in the refrigerator. Just for a little pick me up when you're like wanting a little snack, you're running out the door or something. Um, it's gluten free, vegan, has um, oh, kosher and non GMO. And the ingredients let me hear, let me just tell you about this, okay? Ingredients organic maple syrup, almond butter, almond flour, dark cocoa or cacao, excuse me, whichever, whichever, um, powder, organic virgin, coconut oil, and sea salt. I know all of the ingredients that are in there, so yeah, they're bomb. They have this like mm, crust around it that kind of is like a cookie crust, and then they have peanut butter, dark chocolate that's so smooth. Mm, it's so good. You need to pick one up next time you're at Walmart. They also have a lemon one, which is like pretty good. It's a little tart, but they're both good. I like that one the best. Oh, they gave me organic bananas. I did not order these, but sure. Um, yeah, got some bananas for my breakfast. I literally go through like one of those days, so. That'll be gone in no time. And then I got, oh. Okay, I also feel like they gave me like more tomatoes than I asked for, because I'm pretty positive I just ordered two. Tea, okay. I'll take them Walmart, okay. So apparently I got four um, Roma tomatoes. These are like my favorite tomatoes to you, because I feel like they, stay um longer than like the big round tomatoes you can get and i feel like i use these more than i do if i buy the little cherry tomatoes in the packet so here i am with those bow tie pasta for these pasta salad i was telling you about baking soda because i feel like our fridge and freezer always has this weird smell to it i swear the smell in these apartments i don't know what it is we could clean all day long and they still smell the specific scent so um, if you didn't know, you could put baking soda, trim up the top, put it in the fridge. 
It eliminates odors. It's bomb. So I got a thing of that, and then I also got a thing of pecans for snacking, and then as well for my grape salad. Lastly, well, actually not lastly. I got a big thing of water, but I'm not about to lift that up and show you guys. You can take my word for it. Um, I got some laundry detergent, fabric softener. This is not eventful, but if y'all want me to put you on one, um, these right here, the combo, it's so good. Hope uses it. Shout out to my best friend Hope. Her mom uses this at home. Every time I'm over, I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you wash your clothes in? She tells me every time. I forget it every time I come over. I come over the next time. I'm like, please tell me what you wash your clothes in. But I remember this time. So. Woo. Okay, I think the snuggle is actually what like really sends it over the top for me. But oh baby oh it smells so good so i can't wait to wash my clothes and this i was using the pods but i feel like it just really didn't do anything for the smell of my clothes like it didn't keep them smelling fresh i feel like it really goes doing a good job so we're switching it up doing this bad boy yeah so i'm gonna put all these groceries up now and then um we're gonna get started unpacking my two garbage bags of clothes and uh, all my other things I have and I'll probably start organizing my closet and the bottom is like really unorganized. I need to put my sweaters in the tub for winter and stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'll show you guys after I put these groceries away. <music> you guys, I had to stop putting away my groceries because um, I, because Lemony just got tagged in on Instagram by made by Brooke Nicole um, on Instagram. She is literally so cute. Me and Hope both brought <laughs> me and Hope both bought stickers from her shop, and um, she actually ordered um, our ACDC bleached tea. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Oh my gosh, and she looks so stinking cute in it. Everybody, if you have not followed our shop, Shop with Lemony on Instagram, I'll leave it right here. I'm just like so proud of me and Hope and not to sound in any kind of way, but like we've just been working so, so hard since I like decided I wanted to reopen Lemony and I wanted to do it with hope. Like we just rebranded everything. We've been working so hard on everything. So to just see like all of our hard work being paid off and like people ordering our stuff and like people posting, wearing our things or like seeing someone out in public and like telling us how much they like our shop or them they're wearing their thing. It's just like, makes me feel so good. Um, so yeah, I just had to stop and like show you guys that because it's so stinking cute. She looks so cute. And if you have not followed her, she has some of the cutest things. It's made by Brooke Nicole on Instagram. And um, the post is actually, she came up with these tumblers. It says iced coffee clock on it. May or may not have to get one of those. <laughs> but um, yeah, and we had stickers and everything. We got stickers from her. Um, I got this one, I'll show you. It's the iced coffee one. Let's see if I can get it to focus. hello I got the iced coffee one and the plant mom one oh my gosh I'm just feeling extra thankful and like just super I don't know excited because I think that's just the coolest thing okay and lastly I'm gonna put this bacon soda in the fridge and I'm just like cut the top like cereal. Be careful. Hopefully, nobody <laughs> spills it. I actually may. Let me see if I have some essential oil. So okay, yeah, I have some lemon essential oil. So I'm just gonna like put some drops in there. Kind of mix it up really cool. Fork. And by the way, I use, I wanted to mention this. I usually use Young Living oils. My sister 
is like really big on them and so um, when I use essential oils I use the brand Young Living but this is one that I got like a while back before I started using Young Living so I'm not like a rip or anything but just thought I'd mention that okay this should help freshen up some things. And then, let's see. Where I can put it in the door. Maybe like, this is definitely probably as far as we go. That's what I'm telling you about. Like, we've got to go through our fridge because we all moved out except for one of our roommates. and. Like, we didn't know how long we were going to be gone, so we, like, did not clean out the fridge like we should have. Alright, so I am about to start um, unpacking all my clothes and everything, and I think I actually want to go ahead and, like, strip my bed so I can, like, wash all of my sheets and my duvet and everything, so that way, um, when it's, like, time to go to bed, I will have dry sheets and everything. Tell me you'll just heard that. It is like a drag race out here non-stop where I live. It's like always so sick and loud. I also really want to get one of those like more heavy duty like mattress toppers. Because I've like grown accustomed to the one I have but definitely could be much more comfortable, so. Okay, come on. And I'm still going to do a full, well, not full, but an apartment tour. Um, as soon, probably, maybe even tomorrow. I just have, I'm gonna have Hope help me film it. So, I just need her here as well. I literally have, I don't know if this is even going to pick up what I have, but I have like two bags, two backpacks, another bag, all to unpack. And then this is going to be... The record wall i'm hoping i can get to that today but i really just want to like deep clean and organize make sure i'm getting all unpacked um today but hopefully i can start with the record wall because it's only 4 37 so doing pretty good okay yeah so this is my closet do not look down there because i've got to reorganize everything but basically i just try and roll all of my denim denim shorts denim jeans and everything i literally just hit my hand on this um, and like all my shorts that are like that up um, on this section of the closet. And then all of my shoes are like up there that need to be reorganized as well. I really need to like go through the stuff here. Hi. Um, and like all of my sweaters need to be put in the little like tub I have down there. Um, so that way I have room for all of these other clothes. But yeah, I just like the storage of that i'm able to see the jeans a little bit better and um i don't really like hanging the jeans um and i don't have enough space in the drawers because i have a ton of t-shirts so yeah <laughs> okay say hi to the vlog <laughs> he said hey <laughs> one bag down and then another one to go and then I'm going to start with my sweaters and stuff. Okay, 
so basically I have decided to just go through all of my drawers and like refold everything so right now I'm going through like my um, bras and underwear drawer um, so that I can like unpack this backpack which has like all that kind of stuff in there um, and everything can just like be organized um, and I just put like my sheets and things in the dryer so those will get done soon so I'm making like pretty good time with everything um, after I finish this drawer then I'm gonna do the sweaters put all of those away um, unpack this bag which just has my shoes in it I have just a small pile here of like um, sweaters that I need to put away that I brought from home and then I'll do the ones that are in my closet which is basically like this whole side right here is all sweaters so that'll clear up a lot of space in my closet and like I'm just realizing that like I really don't need all the clothes that I have because I've been surviving just fine off the clothes that I brought home with me um and like i still have clothes that i left here um in my closet and in my drawer so yeah just making me realize that like i really don't need as many clothes as i think i do but oh i definitely suggest like if you are moving into like a college apartment or whatever it may be um or even just like i've done this my whole life is get like a tub or some sort of storage space for winter clothes and summer clothes so when it's winter time you put your summer clothes in there when it's summertime you put your winter clothes in there um that way you can really save space in your closet um and you can kind of tuck it away and then reevaluate it when it comes the next season so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now i already finished up all my drawers um so i'm doing pretty good it is 5:45, so okay so an update i have like dusted and cleaned my desk off i obviously as you saw wash my makeup brushes and then i'm just unpacking my last bag here that mainly just had like knickknacks and stuff um, but i think i'm just gonna like do everything else tomorrow with the when i do the apartment door so going good i'm getting like really excited because everything is just like whoo working out now and everything is like getting unpacked so i feel more like at ease and more relaxed at, at home if you will <laughs> the next day now and um i forgot to film an outro for my video last night because after the little record wall like process i didn't obviously finish but you guys saw that already um i just like what did i even do i took a shower um i went and grabbed something to eat with my roommates and then i just like chilled so um yeah but i'm actually about to film another vlog now because um, I'm gonna do an apartment tour and then just like start cleaning um, and organizing some more so I'm gonna do a different vlog for that but I hope you guys are enjoying um, these little back to my apartment vlogs um, if you are don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, if you've not already for more vlogs and yeah so I will see you guys in my next video hope you guys have a great day bye